so for tonight's uh, discussion of notes tonight, we're going to talk about differentiation, which is chapter 10.4. And our essential question is, can you define stem cells and explain their importance? And so we're going to learn about what stem cells are. And so first of all, the human body is um, made of a hundred different types of specialized cells. And they all arrive and develop from one single fertilized cell between an egg and a sperm. So this question is, how does these cells become um, specialized? How do they go from one single cell to all these different kinds of different varieties of cells in our body? And it's called cell differentiation. So it's basically when cells become more specialized. They are known as differentiation. So it's basically how do um, we get all the different varieties of cells between skin cells, muscle cells, nerve cells, bone cells, lung cells, heart cells. Well, they become differentiated. They become differentiated um, when you are in utero. So as organisms grow and develop, uh, they differentiate and specialize into their particular roles and functions. So this is the example of how an animal cell would uh, differentiate um, in embryonic stages. And this is an example of a plant going from a seed to a couple of more cells to more cells and then differentiated into the special types of plant cells, leaf cells, flower cells, stem cells, root cells that the plant might go through. So stem cells are unspecialized cells. They do not have a specific functional role yet. They have not differentiated yet. They have not developed and decided what they were going to be. So stem cells will branch out and they will come become any type of cell in the body. And so there are two types or kinds of stem cells. There's embryonic stem cells, which is in the embryo developing into a baby. And there's something called somatic stem cells, which is basically the stem cells we currently have in our body right now. So embryonic stem cells, okay, first start with a fertilized egg, which means the sperm and egg have come together and fertilized. And we call this moment right here, okay, the moment where it's fertilized and they've come about four cells after that, we call it totipotent. Totipotent is referring to how these cells right here are going to be stem cells that, become, that can become any type of cell on the body, any cell. And then after a couple of more divisions, uh, the uh, fertilized cell turns into this structure right here, a hollow ball of cluster of cells, which is called a blastocyst. And I would draw a picture of what a blastocyst looks like. It's a hollow ball of cells, and inside, the blastocysts are these cluster of cells. And these clusters of cells we now call pluripotent. And pluripotent means that most of these cells can develop into the different types of body cells that we have. Um, blood cells, bone cells, nerve cells, muscle cells. And so this blastocyst is where those stem cells are. In somatic stem cells, we're talking about stem cells that are currently in you right now. And what those stem cells do is help renew and replace cells in an adult body. And so they can only differentiate into certain types. They can't differentiate into everything, just certain things. And so where you can find stem cells in you right now would be in your bone marrow, some parts of your blood, and in your brain right now where those stem cells currently exist. And so there is some stem cell research now. It is the big thing right now uh, of research right now is how can we use stem cells to repair and replace damaged tissues or even organs that aren't working correctly. So they're trying to find ways where they can take stem cells out of uh, your bone marrow and try to inject that into a damaged part of your tissue. Like for example, this heart, this tissue right here isn't working. And if we inject stem cells that haven't differentiated yet into this heart, we're hoping that we can get more uh, stem cells to differentiate into heart tissue. And those stem cells turn into heart tissue and then that can repair the heart that's in this damaged area right here. There is some other um, types of stem cell research when they're looking at embryonic stem cell research. So they're looking at this blastocyst 
and trying to get the stem cells out of here. And so that can be some type of an ethical debate because this could end up being a baby. And if you just and if you take the blastocyst out, um, then you cannot grow a baby. So, but we're going to read about those when we come back to class um, tomorrow. We're going to read some stem cell articles. So please make sure you have your notes prepared and ready for um, discussion tomorrow.